Hi everybody, this is Poyo Del Mar. Welcome to another edition of Name Dropping with Poyo. Whether you're joining me from the Huffington Post, GuideToGay.com, or through my Facebook or Twitter accounts, welcome to the latest edition. And for those of you who have been anxiously awaiting such a return to the Huffington Post and video blogging, thanks for staying with me all this time. This is the first of 2012 that I've done, and the first of these video blogs in nearly four months. It's crazy. But there's so much to report, and of course, including upcoming print interviews with everyone from dance music legend CeCe Peniston, up-and-coming rapper Rai Rai, and Hollywood heartthrob Ewan McGregor. I'm so excited to tell you all about these and more in just a moment. For the second time in a year, I had the opportunity to meet this week with Scottish hunk, Ewan McGregor, who shot to fame in 1996 with his critically acclaimed role as a heroin junkie in Train Spotting. And since then, of course, he's done huge blockbuster films such as all of the Star Wars prequels, where he played a young Obi Wan Kenobi. And of course, he played Christian, the romantic love interest of Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge, which is where probably most of us really, really fell in love with him. Aside from these huge, big budget, blockbusters that he's done for Hollywood. You might remember him from such films as The Pillow Book or Velvet Goldmine, um, I Love You, Philip Morris, where he played Philip Morris, of course, a gay man. And most recently, he starred opposite Christopher Plummer, this year's Best Supporting Actor Oscar winner, who played his 75-year-old father who was coming out in the film Beginners. Of course, that's the first time I actually met him to talk about that. And this week, I met him to talk about his new film, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen. Let me take you to some uh, actual audio footage of our interview where I ask him why it is that he, unlike so many other Hollywood leading men, is absolutely, shows no fear in choosing these LGBT themed films. I'm interested in telling stories about people. The, the work that I love the most is real people in real situations, be them big or small, and, and a kind of exploration about what it is that makes us human beings and what, how we react to the things that life throws up for us. And, and I suppose that's what really makes me tick. And a big part of that is sexuality, romance, um, desire, uh, you know, what, what? A big part of that, and a big mm -hmm. part of the movies that I grew up loving is, is romance and um, exploring the feeling of, you know, being in love or falling in love or falling out of love or, um, I think that's what makes great art and great drama. I don't see that that's different in same-sex relationships or, you know, heterosexual sex, uh, sexual relationships. I just think it's it's interesting. Be sure to go out and catch Ewan McGregor's latest film, Salmon Fishing in the Yemen, which sees him co-starring with um, the Devil Wears Prada's Emily Blunt, a complete scene stealer in that film, and she is a beautiful romantic lead for him in this film, as well as Oscar-nominated The English Patient star Kristen Scott Thomas. Salmon Fishing in the Yemen opens in theaters across the country on March 9th. Be sure to catch that, and of course, it's star Ewan McGregor. Running from March 28th through April 1st of this year is the Dinah Shore Weekend. It's Club Skirts Presents the Dinah, the world's largest lesbian party. This year, the lineup of celebrities is absolutely unparalleled. They have everyone from Shaka Khan to Nina Sky, and of course, Cece Peniston, dance music legend, known around the world for her 1991 breakthrough hit, Finally. And every time I have an opportunity to talk to Cece, I absolutely love it. It's like talking to an old girlfriend. She's incredible. Here, I actually talked to her about why it is that while she's been so interested in all these years performing for gay men, why she's excited to go to the diner this year and perform for the ladies. I've been before. It's just been a while. And the last time I went, it was just off the chain the whole weekend. I mean, party all weekend long. Music bumping, drinks going. It, it's hot. And I know the girls want to see a lot of skin and stuff, too. So, you know, I'm going to hook them up, too. <laughs> that was dance music legend Cece Peniston telling us about why she's so excited to perform this year as one of the headlining acts at Club Skirts Presents the Dinah in Palm Springs, California. As I mentioned, it's going to be a stellar lineup. People such as Ann Julie and Winter Gordon, um, Porcelain Black, and many others will be performing with CeCe Peniston down in Palm Springs. 
I love talking to Cece, and I cannot wait to hear the new music that she said that she's actually producing. She, according to her, already has seven songs recorded. They're all in the dance music field. For a while, she had kind of strayed off into pop and a little bit of hip-hop, and I am so excited, for one, to welcome her back to the dance community. She said all seven of these new tracks are going to be off the hook, and she's dabbling in electro, which I kind of really love at the moment. Find out more about CeCe's Peniston. I'm going to include all of the information about her website uh, right here. Also, if you are in San Francisco, don't miss her at the fourth annual Razziversary on Wednesday, March 21st, when she joins an incredible all-star lineup, including Linda Lavin of TV's hit sitcom, Alice. Do you, do you remember that? It's going to have Pia Zadora, uh, Mary Wilson of the Supremes, and much more. That is Wednesday, March 21st, when they are raising money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So find out more about that online at therazroom.com. Look for the link at the bottom of this. Also joining CeCe Peniston down in Palm Springs for the Dinosaur Weekend is up-and-coming rapper and dance music artist Rai Rai. Now, Rai Rai shot to fame, at least in my eyes, when she collaborated with Swedish pop star Robin last summer on their top 20 dance hit, Never Will Be Mine. Of course, I'm always curious when a hip hop artist, or in this case, a female rapper, is booked to perform for gay and lesbian audiences. It seems so mm, counterintuitive to be honest because we all are quite aware that the hip hop community has some issues with homophobia, I'm gonna say in a general way. And here I ask Rai Rai how she plans to maintain her street credibility while performing for gay audiences. Even before I collect money for Robin, like when I put out shit for the ground, when I put out stuff for MIA, like my audience always been a gay audience, so I'm used to that. So, um, you know, I think it's just natural. That's, that's my audience. Like that's who I've been performing in front of since I was 16. Like I, gay people, that's all I've been performing in front of. It's always like the hits the crowd, a lot of gay boys, um, gay girls. It's just, that's just my audience. That's my fan base, really. Be sure to catch Rai Rai and an all-star cast. Uh, I forgot to mention Jessica Setta of the Pussycat Dolls. Hi, Jess. Um, are all going to be performing March 28th through April 1st in Palm Springs, California. Club Skirts presents the Dyna. I'll provide all of that information in a link in this video. Now, if you're following RuPaul's Drag Race Season 4, you know that there are a lot of bitches in that cast, but there's only one girl who is the bitch, and that is none other than Willem Belly. Willem is going to be making his San Francisco performance debut uh, on Sunday night, March 18th, in the Glamazone at the cafe. Of course, if you're one of our South Bay fans, you can catch us the night before when the Glamazone San Jose returns to Renegade's show bar down in San Jose, uh, March 17th. That's St. Patrick's Day. We're going to be doing a show in the South Bay, so come and check us out. And if you live in the city, catch us the next night at the cafe. You are not going to want to miss this. She's an incredible performer. You need to definitely check her YouTube video out for her song, The Vagina Song. It's crazy. She's a hilarious, hilarious entertainer. And I can't wait to kind of find out if she is everything she seems to be on the show. I personally am really enjoying watching her antics and... Um, it's going to be fun to have her up close and personal. So come and check us out. That's Saturday and Sunday, March 17th and 18th, Saturday night in San Jose at Renegades and Sunday night at the cafe in San Francisco. At any rate, I've got so many more things, big things planned for you guys, and I want to tell you all about it, but that's all the time we have for now. Thanks for name dropping. My name is Poet Omar. I'll see you soon. Boy, yeah.